This was my third day learning how to surf on a shortboard. The waves are alright today, but I was able to get up on just about every wave and uh, ride every wave. And so, and so I caught about six, seven waves, I believe, and they're decent size. But uh, yeah, I'm very proud of myself for a third day of just committing to learning how to ride a shortboard that uh, I'm finally beginning to see some good results and I'm going to be going out every morning and every, every evening until I uh, get really good at the sport. Um, and what a place to learn, Fanning Island. I mean, shit, it's pretty incredible. I, uh, no complaints there. Um, my infections are slowly going away as I'm wearing socks. I only have one sock right now because only one foot is still a ground meat patty. Fanning Island style right here. Really my first time wearing shoes in uh, two months, month and a half I'd say. The system, so whatever you call right. So even that now you have to do a regular clearance, customs, immigration and everything. But the way when you are sailing, that's cool. Wow, how that's do you do that? Not coming out. Into, uh, Today I broke yeah. my second leash. It was a shitty leash in my defense, and uh, board washed up ashore again. You got a few more dents and dings, but Chuck just made a new one. No, there are not many information about this island, but you see on the last sailors are talking about the, the clearance is not easy. They don't right. have really rates or prices for something. Nobody Could knows. Could you go get the, the lighter that's in there on the thing? Yeah, of course. What do you do? At? Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what do you do here? Um, this is braided, braided rope, and so I just open the braid up like a cylinder, and then I slip the other end in it. And so yeah. when it pulls it, 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 it pulls tight on the... Um, okay, and it's a floating rope? It's a floating rope. Well, hopefully this one won't break on me. Fanning Island, do-it-yourself leash. Look at that. Made by Chuck Corbett. Beautiful. So, uh, Gaspar's wife was able to get a few photos of me surfing and I'll show you just uh, the kind of the wave that I'm learning on and it's, it's a decent size wave for me at least there's Gaspar Gaspar paddling out there's Gaspar surfing on the, the left out here yesterday there's one of me, and uh, as you can see, I am dabbing into into an epic wave. That's uh, I'm dabbing. I, I think I eat shit here actually, but uh, I was still learning. You see me on top of the wave, just being epic and whatnot. One of Gaspar. As you can see, Gaspar is much better than I am. He's, oh, there's me after eating a lot of shit and deciding to say fuck it for the day, I'm done. <laughs> and then there's Gaspar. Gaspar has surfed uh, some big waves in Tahiti and like Tiapu and whatnot. And so he's uh, much better than I am, but. He keeps saying that he's really bad, he's not. Gaspar getting some air, doing a ninja kick. Yeah, beautiful. That's uh, yesterday's surf session. Having lunch at Tyrone's and this is a uh, Pakalulu. It's uh, bread fruit mixed with coconut milk and boiled. They got some fish and mm, good stuff. Thank you very much. No worries. Go for it. Go to the next level. Fuck. What's the next level? On my hammock. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. The stupidity and the, what you call it didn't help this situation get off the ground. It made it 
sort of grind to a halt and you know people asking too many questions and that's when the, the, the as the clerk said too much foreign involvement that's a very hurting part of it you know too much foreign involvement they must think with some country like Zimbabwe by you know Robert Mugabe or something you know like they think we're simple yeah yes in fact we are very simple but you know go by the the custom you know go you know knock on somebody's door and ask to come in you know you don't just fucking barge into somebody's house and you know yeah you knock on the door ask me can i come in can i have a glass of water can i use your shit house whatever yeah. you just don't come barging in and a group of fly fishermen flew in yesterday of about there's about six of them and today chuck and i are rushing to get our shit together because they left much earlier this morning to go to Arapa and uh, we're gonna go film them with the drone but the drone battery wasn't charged up so we're doing that real quick and we're rushing around I uh, 420 way too hard last night and went to a, a marijuana coma for a good majority of the night but uh feeling a little better now and now we're getting our shit together for Ali and so how you feeling, Chuck? Rare to go, but we, we, we have a, we have an arduous track in front of us right now. Yeah. So in a Dodge e engine where you can't throttle back. When you're going full speed, it's all squirrely. You can't slow down. There's something broken on it. So you have to turn the key off, come to a stop, open the lid of the motor, hit the throttle, close the lid, and then start the motor by hand and drive onward. So it's going to be exciting. <laughs> on top of that, all, all our, my thoughts are on the sustainable development for the people. So, welcome to Fanning. Miles and miles of shallow reefs, coral heads, sand flats, you're gonna hear the water go chunk right now. We missed it. We're coming up at, we're on high tide and we're kind of fuckered because the tide's gonna be going out and in my um, wisdom, I don't really know the path <laughs> getting out here. I know I need to get to land and walk, but it's so miles of walking. It's like a three-mile walk, one way. Wow. Well, uh, best thing I can do is sit back, relax, hope for the best, and put all my faith and trust in good old Chuckers. Chuckers is fucker. <laughs> that he is. That he is. Go right on ahead. You're more than welcome to. Well, we uh, made it to Arapa, the fly fisherman over there. I flew my drone and hopefully got some all right shots of him. It was hard flying it from across the channel uh, where I didn't see it or anything, but I think I got some decent ones, so.
gonna try to go get some more. Be nice to be back. I've been watching you come here for the better part of 10 years. And it's every bit as beautiful as when I left, last left. I've been up here maybe a dozen times and never have I been disappointed by the awe-inspiring, pristine beauty of the place. Palm trees over to this lagoon are incredible. What a great place this would be to kayak. I love you, Mom. Thank you, everybody else, for helping to be here. The guardian angels, Georgina, Tim Welch, Cameron, Jackie. 